Hi and welcome. In this video you're going to learn how to create and save a custom workspace. Well okay let's start from the Essentials workspace which is this one. These are the ones Essentials, Libraries, Film Strip, Output, Metadata and Keywords that, that ship with Adobe Bridge. Now I'm going to show you my go-to workspace if you like that I use most of the time. I'm not saying it's right for you, but if you can follow along with what I'm doing, then you can create your own custom workspace. OK, let's start off with the favourites panel, which is over here on the left. Now, this is like a quick folder locator. Now, I think it is really super useful. Some of your folders like mine might be nested several levels deep, and it's a right pain having to constantly navigate to and from them. Now you can see here there's already some favourites in the panel. Now if I don't want them then I can just I'll just right click on pictures and remove. Uh, I'll leave desktop. I'll, remind, I'll get rid of documents. I'll get rid of the admin folder. Remove. And well I'll leave the rest. I'll leave the rest. And these are just quick access to anywhere that you think is important. So let's have a look now. If we look at my folders panel Let's navigate to where I've been working. Well, I've been working in seven building blocks of Photoshop and in the interface. And then in the, the next one down is going to be, let's have a look, Adobe Bridge. That's where I've been working. And then, so if I click on that, you'll see from the breadcrumb up here that I'm in Google Drive, blocks of Photoshop, the interface and Adobe Bridge. And the folder I've been working in is, uh, well, it was the metadata panel. But what I can do is, just so I can get quick access to the, this range of panels, I can use Adobe Bridge. And what I can do is, just like I'm, I've navigated to the one before, so I, I need to find Adobe Bridge. So I'm just going to go up to my interface. So I've now got in the content area all the folders that's in the interface folder. And what I want is Adobe Bridge. So first I'm going to go to my favourites, make sure I've got that clicked. And then I'm going to grab my Adobe Bridge folder and I'm going to drag it and drop it into here. And there it is now. So now I can navigate away and go anywhere I like. I can go onto my desktop. And then if I need to get back to do some more work, I just click Adobe Bridge and then I can go and pick whichever one of these that I want. Just saves navigating needlessly and it's going to save you time. And you can make as many as you like. So if you're working an, an awful lot in one particular one, like at the moment, let's say creating a custom workspace, I can click on that and drag that into my favourites. And then I can either go to Adobe Bridge so I can pick one of these or I can go to creating a custom workspace and I'm straight to the folders that I need to work with. Right, let's have a look at the rest of the interface. Well, the publish panel I don't really use. So I'm going to click on it to bring it to the front and then I'm going to go up to my window menu. And now any of these panels here that have a tick in, they are visible on the interface. And so the publish panel is visible. If I untick that by clicking it, it will disappear. So it's not been deleted. It's just removed from view. So I don't have to look at it and it's not going to confuse me. OK, let's go somewhere where there's some images. Now, the preview panel, it doesn't offer me a great deal of advantages at the moment because the preview image is more or less the same size. If I just click in the content area, then I get my preview come up. And it's not much bigger, so it's not really of, of much use to me. So let's move that preview panel. So what I'm going to do where, I, where it says preview at this top on this little tab, I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it. I'm going to keep my finger on until you get a blue line going all the way around the outside of the content panel. And then I'm going to let go and the preview panel will dock itself with the content panel. Now the content panel I like to have on this side. So let's close these up. So I've got my metadata and my keywords on this side. So let's take the content panel and I'm going to click on that and drag it 
and then when I get that blue line I can just let go. So now I've rearranged things. When I click on an image in my content panel I get a nice big preview. Now I like the content to be on its own. So what I do is I'll get my keywords panel and I'll drag that down and I'll put it in this bottom left hand side. And the same with the metadata. So it keeps all those panels together for me. So I've got my filter, my collections, my export, keywords, metadata, all in this bottom left hand corner. My content panel is here. So when I get more images, they'll, they'll populate this at the side. And anything I click on, I do get a nice big preview. And if I want to really zoom in and see if I've got uh, and check the sharpness or the you know the clarity or, or the noise, you'll see I've got a little spyglass now as a as a cursor. And if I click anywhere in the image, I get a loop, and I can move this around, and I can actually have a look more zoomed in at what's going on, and check whether I think it's sharp enough, and whether I think what the noise is like. And then when I finish with it, all you need to do is there's a little X here. You can click on that just to shut that loop down. Now, I don't want to have to set this up every time. So I can actually save it out as a custom workspace so I can access it really quickly. Now, if I go up, there's this little down arrow here next to the, the preset um, workspaces. And if I click on that, I've got the option of a new workspace. If I click on that, I've got the option to name it. So let's call this um, Ken Gen for Ken General Workspace. You name it, whatever you like, something that makes sense to you. And then I want to make sure that the save the window location is, is ticked and save the sort order is ticked. And then I'll click save. And now you see I've got my Ken Gen Workspace up at the top. So I can now flip between these. I can go to my Essentials workspace and then say, oh, no, I, I want to go back to my general one. I click on Ken Gen and I'm back to my preferred workspace. And you can make as many of these workspaces as you like for whatever conditions and for whatever work you do. So you're not, you're not, you've not got loads and loads of panels that you've got to deal with every time. Now, if you've got a workspace that you no longer use, you can delete it. You can't delete any of these because these are presets that come with Bridge. But if I've got Ken Gen and I think, no, I don't really like that anymore. I've had enough of it. Then if I just right click on it and I can delete Gen Ken. And when I do that, off it goes. There it was, gone. Right, OK, a quick recap. We can customise the favourites panel, so to save time navigating to folders that you visit regularly. And it's possible to customise the bridge interface to suit your needs in particular. So you can save out a custom workspace to have it available on the click of a mouse button. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.